Genius Kids. Cultivating Love for Learning. Adaptation in Animals. Knowledge Acquisition. In this chapter, we will study about classifying animals on the basis of their habitat, the need of animals to adjust to their habitat, the different types of adaptations, developing awareness about the need for protecting the natural habitat. Animals have inhibited the earth for millions of years. Animals are found all over the world. They also adapt themselves to their surroundings. The animals that are not able to adapt, die out slowly. Like plants, animals have also developed special structures to survive in their unique surroundings. Adapting to a particular environment is not one or two day process. It takes over hundreds or thousands of years. Let's learn how animals adapt themselves in different ways. Adaptations to Habitat the home or natural environment of a living being is called its habitat. There is a variety of habitats on the earth. Animals can therefore be classified as terrestrial, aquatic, amphibian, aerial and arboreal based on their habitat. 1. Terrestrial animals Animals like dogs, cats, horses, lions, etc. that live on land are called terrestrial animals. They have legs to walk or run on the ground. They have lungs to breathe. Some animals like snakes do not have legs. They have scales which help them to crawl. They have a well-developed nervous system and sense organs, which enables them to sense changes in their surroundings. 2. Aquatic animals Aqua means water. So animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Fish, octopus, shrimp, whale, snail, turtle, crabs, etc. are aquatic animals. They have fins or suitable limbs for swimming. Fish and crabs breathe air dissolved in water through gills. Whales and dolphins do not have gills and they have to come to water surface to breathe. Aquatic birds like ducks and geese have webbed feet which help them to push water back while swimming. Some aquatic animals have a thick layer of fat called blubber under their skin to keep them warm and help them to float. 3. Amphibians Animals that spend their lives partly in water and partly on land are called amphibians. Frogs, toads, crocodiles, salamanders, etc. are amphibians. They breathe through their moist skin when they are in water. On land, they breathe through lungs. They have limbs that help them in swimming. Some of them have webbed feet and tails to help in swimming. 4. Aerial Animals Animals that fly in the air are called aerial animals. They have wings to fly. They are of lightweight due to hollow and light bones and feather. Feathers keep them warm and help during the flight. Shape of their bodies is both like which help them to push through the air. They have flight muscles to fly. Their toes and claws help them to perch on the branches of the trees. Critical Thinking Bats are the only mammals that can fly. 5. Arboreal Animals Animals who spend most of their time on trees are called arboreal animals. Monkeys, apes, lizards, squirrel, etc. are arboreal animals. They have strong arms and legs to climb on trees. The spines or plates on their bodies prevent from slipping while climbing. They have claws and broad hip girdles to support their body while climbing. Their fingers and thumb are shaped in such a way that they can hold the branches firmly. Monkeys use their tails to grip branches and hang down for swinging. Adaptations for food Animals eat plants and flesh of other animals. So, they adapted themselves according to the food they eat. According to the type of food they eat, they can be classified into four major types, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores and parasites. 1. Herbivores Animals that eat plants, grass and leaves are called herbivores. Cow, goat, buffalo, sheep, 
zebra, rabbit, etc. eat plants, so they are herbivorous animals. They are also called plant-eating animals. They have sharp biting and cutting teeth to bite leaves and grass. They have long and strong legs to roam long distances in search of food. These adaptations also help to protect them from being caught and eaten by other animals. 2. Carnivores Animals that hunt small animals to eat the flesh are called carnivores. Lion, tiger, fox, vulture, jackal, etc. eat flesh of other animals, so they are carnivorous animals. They are also called flesh-eating animals. They have strong muscles, well-developed tearing teeth and claws for catching their prey. Flesh-eating birds like vulture, eagles have sharp beaks and claws to catch their prey and to tear their flesh. 3. Omnivores Animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivores. Bear, crow, cockroach, etc. are some omnivores. They eat both plants and animals. Critical Thinking only female mosquito sucks human blood to nourish her eggs. Parasites Animals that live either on or inside the bodies of other animals to obtain food, are called parasites. Mosquitoes, leeches, hookworms and bedbugs are parasites. They have sucking tubes to suck blood from their host. Adaptation for Protection we have read that animals develop various features that help them to obtain food, live in their habitats and protect themselves from predators. Let's read about that how animals adapt to protect themselves from their enemy. The body color of some animals like chameleon, zebra, parakeet, polar bear, etc. have the ability to easily blend with their surroundings. Thus, they confuse their enemies and escape from them. For example, stick insect, leaf insect and grasshopper usually resemble. Garden lizard can change its color according nearby green plant its surroundings. This process of changing body color is called camouflage. Some animals like whales, elephants and hippos have huge bodies which protect them from enemies. Animals like fish, houseflies and deer move very fast to escape from their enemies. Some animals, mainly birds such as pelicans and cranes, migrate to places that have suitable climate and plenty of food. Such birds which show migration are called migratory birds. In the polar regions, arctic foxes have brown coats in summer but grow white fur in winter. Their color merges with their surroundings and it becomes difficult to spot them. Continuous Review the process of changing to suit the environment is called adaptation. The home or natural environment of a living being is called its habitat. Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Animals that live partly in water and partly on land are called amphibians animals. Animals that fly in the air are called aerial animals. Animals that eat plants are called herbivores. Animals that eat the flesh of other animals are called carnivores. Animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivores. Parasitic animals depend on the hosts for their food. Pangolin is covered with overlapping scales. Like, share and subscribe.